we were talking about somebody that's really hot in the news right now, who's been making a lot of buzz, as I had a lot of accusations lately about uh, him possibly setting up the GOATs, Tupac, or having something to do with it. Some people have been taking him to court saying he was doing them some touching where some touching was not supposed to be done. Uh, other people are saying he made them do things that they're not very proud of. And, and now uh, the feds, Homeland Security, came uh, not only to New York, they also came to Miami. They also came to Los Angeles uh, looking for him. And what was Diddy? Nowhere to be found. He was at the airports and his private jet to the Caribbean. I landed out there, hung out for a few days, and they came back to Miami. Uh, was seen spotted hanging out with Stevie J. So have you heard about the story, Grandma? Oh, yes, sir. Definitely. Thank you for having me on. Absolutely. And uh, what are your thoughts on, uh, on, on Diddy, man? Do you think uh, there might be some truth to some of those allegations, or do you think this is all speculation? I feel like it's a lot of truth to it. A lot of truth. One thing that they haven't said about, about Puffy is hmm. everybody that started with Puffy, they did. Yes, sir. My guy said, uh, man, there's so much smoke in the kitchen. Oh, please elaborate, fam. Oh, please elaborate. Please elaborate. <laughs> oh, man. Ain't nobody mess. Nobody wanted to mess with Puffy. I feel like Puffy huh. is like everybody is on Puffy's side when they shouldn't be. I feel like he had something to do with Tupac. Yes. I feel like he had something to do with Biggie. Yes. I feel like Puffy just been trying to get people out his way. Well, they Kim- what? Kim Porter, not forget his Kim wife. Porter. Kim Porter, his wife, where his kids come from. Mm-hmm. I feel like this story is just over the top. But Puffy, mm-hmm. Puffy, <laughs> bro, yes, we we know you've been out here doing stuff, but we can't catch you. <sighs> and you know, a lot of the I, I just noticed a lot of the people that tried to make moves. In the entertainment business, either they're dead or they're in jail. D. Smith said, uh, Diddy is just a pawn in a long history of these types of acts in the industry. Do you think he's just a pawn? Interesting thoughts. But before we get into that, there's somebody who made some comments. Of course, everybody in the industry has been making some comments, and I got all the stories. There's one person in particular that knows, knows all about jail, knows all about controversy, has a connection with Diddy some kind of way. And we're talking about Suge Knight's. And Suge Knight to Diddy, watch your back, Puffy. Brother Love handle won't fly in prison. Oh, Ma- yeah. Imagine being in prison called, hey, I'm Brother Love. Hey, no, once <laughs> once he goes in that jail, he's Sean. Matter mm. of fact, he is uh, one, two, three, six, seven. He don't got a name. He got he's got a number. number. He's got a number. No, real talk. And Puffy, you've been you've been going thirty years. Ain't nobody been able to catch you. I bet all your classmates at Howard University are uh-huh. just uh-huh. just flipping. Suge Knight isn't above kicking a man when he's down, especially when the man is Diddy, because uh, has a reaction to the federal rage at the Bad Boy Mongols' home. Uh, TMZ Hip Hop obtained a new commentary from Suge. It's an outtake from the Collect Call. You heard his Collect Call uh, podcast with Dave uh, Mays. Yeah. And uh, he goes, the Death Row founder is clearly convinced the longtime rival is destined for a prison cell, just like him. I mean, he didn't gave up revolt. Mm. Bad boy really isn't here. He didn't sold everything. <laughs> he says he's daddy's little girl when he's uh, going to prison. Ooh. He's daddy's little Ooh. girl. Straight up. What up, D. Smith? Oh, he's bro. straight uh, up. Uh, uh, he uh, he uh. is not puffy no more. He, he's that guy. He's that guy. One, three, six, seven, nine. Yeah. I'm sad. Because it's like, I used to listen to, Victory was one of my favorite albums. Yeah. With, so, the, with the Rocky sample? Come on. Mm-hmm. Uh, puffy, What before this started, yeah. See, 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 my go-to joint was, uh, was the beginning with the, the Warriors kind of Warriors. thing. No, no, he didn't say oh. Warriors. He said Bad, Bad Boys. Boys. Yeah. And the infamous sample. With, it had Biggie on there, he had LL Cool J on there, he had rest in peace to uh, Craig Mack. Craig Mack, rest in peace. I got that new See, flavor in here. All these dead. All these guys that's dead. Black Rob died. What happened to Puff? Nothing. Come on, man. Well, he's got that money, bro. He's got the money. Not mm. no more. You Not don't think no- he's got money? I th- he's selling stuff. Well, he, he sold all his, his stocks that he had in revolts right yeah. before he left. Yeah. Now, why would you do that? You look a little. You look a little guilty doing that, right? You are guilty. Then he went to the Caribbean where they have no extradition laws to to get him back. Maybe he went there to go make a deposit 
And you see, they they trying to tie in uh, other countries to this, like they trying to tie in the, the Prince of of England. England. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, I, hey, we know they freaky over there. <laughs> we know they freaky. They Cherry on Chop Hill to the Queen. They yeah. they're insects. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, they. That's why can't nobody else be the prince because <laughs> if you not <laughs> that bloodline, if anybody's gonna be sleeping with my sister, it's gonna, it's be, gonna me. be me. <laughs> Reverend <to> Dave Chappelle. <laughs> They should tell, I felt but, so bad yeah, saying that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but he probably said it with a British accent, right? Man. Uh, so while, while they raided his house in Miami, the feds put his, his kids, Justin and King Combs, in handcuffs. They have a warrant to go search his property. There were no arrests made, right? But they put his kids in handcuffs. They feel like one of them was helping Puffy. You know, he brought the girls or the guys to the party. And those, that's who, that's where Puffy got his girls from. But they said Puffy got tapes on politicians, oh, blackmail. basketball blackmail, players, yep. mm-hmm. uh, everything. That's why Puffy has not been touched. Everybody well, left he's been Puffy. touched. <laughs> wow. But not like that, you're talking not about. Not like that. <laughs> but, wow, that changed the whole thing. Mm. Man, that, that, that just messed me up with my hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Like, take that, take that. Oh, you know, 50 Cent has been a troll. Oh! Have you seen 50? And I'm going to get into that story. But as soon as that happened, there was an actor that was like imitating Puffy yeah. as he's getting out the car and he's doing yeah. like a little dance, yeah. you know, to, to the to Skin Bone. Skin Bone did it too. Yeah. Skin and then he's on the plane and he's just like, you know, wild. Like, you know, uh, I told my kids bye before I, before I left. You know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't, just, just look it up. 50 Cent is I'm no joke. Definitely look look it up. Big ups to 50 Cent because he's been out here. He, for one, he's, he's got a reason, though. He's, he's got a Yeah, because he was supposed to be with Bad Boy. In the very beginning. At the very beginning. Yeah. Low key. At the very beginning. Low key. Mm-hmm. But Puffy told him after Biggie died, we don't need that. That bad boy don't need oh, all that, that smoke. That's people. why. That's why he didn't want Fifty because Fifty was going hard, and he like right after Puffy like, nah, we we don't need, we don't need that much attention, mm-hmm. not that attention. Mm-hmm. The homie D Smith is telling me, uh, it's a it's a playbook of power. Uh, so Diddy's team is saying that the whole federal investigation is a full blown witch hunt. Uh, but Shook thinks it's time he prepares for the worst: a federal trial, conviction, and prison sentence. So, so do you think that uh that he's he could survive prison, or do you think that he? Some people are saying he won't. He'll take his life before before anything. That's what they're saying. Like people that are close to him, that he can't handle being in a cage and, and taking all these lacks of, of luxury that he has currently in his life taken away. I feel like he needs to do nine years off top, cause Shine did nine. Ooh, you gotta shine. Shine did nine, so and they're talking about reopening up that case Come with J Lo. J Lo, yes, J Lo did something. Oh, she man. just got a pretty face. She did something. And she got more than a pretty you face. Feel- <laughs> so again, and there's an audio where where Suge is warning Diddy to avoid using his newest nickname, Brother Love, when he's oh. eventually doing time because, as he put it, in prison, it isn't a popular setting uh, to have such a title. Did Brother you hear, Love. Did you hear the video? Uh, the audio of Brother Love and Meek Me. I, I saw it. I didn't get a chance to really hear it, but I saw that there was something circulating about it. Yeah, we just ain't going to talk about it. It's it was bad. that bad? It's bad. That bad. Now, it could be AI. You know what I'm saying? We, it's ways for us to manipulate sound. AI, bro. I didn't even think about that. It's ways. I didn't it's even ways. think about that. But since all the all the accusations are going towards this guy, I'm believing it. Since he's been acting, look, take that, take that, take that. <laughs> Since that came out, I, I just, Woo-hoo. I never, I, I think I said it one time mm. during the dance, and I'm like, no, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to say that. Yes, sir. And you know who else has, has something to say? Now, this is live. I haven't even read this, but I saw it just before I got here. I was like, man, let me go ahead and uh, print out the story real quick. Art Kelly has something to say about this. R. Kelly slams Diddy's sex trafficking investigation from prison, and he goes, quote, unquote, I know what they did. Oh, if you ever had an endorsement, that's not the one you want. No. That's not the one you need. I, I feel like Puff, uh, R. Kelly, uh, Robert, don't talk to me, bro. If I'm talking as Puff, 
when I get in jail, because he's going to jail. <laughs> Robert, don't talk to him. He's got okay. He's got a lot of money. R. Kelly had a lot of money. Suge Knight had a lot of money, and they're yeah. all in jail. It's gone. That's gonna well, be except gone. Except for Diddy, he's not in jail. Right oh, now. Diddy is going. Mm. Mm. What else is he gonna be able to do? Mm. Oh, every every time you see her, him, they gonna think something's going up. Like, dag, you out of jail? Mm. No, bro, you supposed to be in jail. Again, if I'm Diddy, I think that's what happened. Now, this is just me. No, this is just that me. That started off bad. I'm I'm not putting words in his mouth. But if I'm Diddy, and I know they're coming for me, and I leave, I sold all my 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 stocks and shares and all that in revolts, which I'm sure is worth a lot of money. He brought that money, right? I'm sure he didn't ask for a check. He probably cashed it out, you know, suitcase. I don't know, probably something like that. Hopped on his private jet, went to the Caribbean, where they have no extradition laws. The banking system is probably a whole lot different. Deposited that money in an account that the United States government can't access, can't get can't take those funds away, chilled out for a couple of days, came back to the United States to make it seem like, hey, man, I was planning to go there anyway. I'm innocent. If I wasn't innocent, why would I come back? And that's when they saw him in Miami walking With down. With yep. Yeah. You know, he could have played him. I'm telling you, bro, I think that's what happened. He could have played him. I'm, I'm not a Puffy fan. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm, I was about to say all Puffy doubt, but no. I just don't want to hear nothing. I, I it, He had maybe three songs. Oh, you crazy? He had maybe, no. He yeah. had he he had some juggernaut after Biggie died, and he came out with that first album right after he died. With the he did that tribute song for Biggie with the Sting sample in the background. That album, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it went a lot of times platinum. Oh, anything Puffy was doing at that time was going a lot of times platinum. You know what I'm saying? He yes, he was the man. He also had. Great artists under him, also Jadakiss. He had the locks, the locks, Jadakiss. But he couldn't, he couldn't work the locks. I feel like he did. I feel they, he, like he tried. The reason why the locks beat Dipset so good was because of Puff. On verses, the reason why the locks had so much presence because Puffy showed him how to get on that mic, how to share the mic, how to share the scene. Puffy. I disagree with that one. That, that, I, I feel like their time with Bad Boy, Puffy showed them how to be great entertainers. So Alexis Arce says he didn't write or produce any of his music. He just took the credit for it. Facts. Facts. I, I never said he was a writer. <clears throat> didn't he say uh, in one of his verses that somebody wrote for him? He yeah. Said, he said, don't worry if I write rhymes. I write checks. I write checks. <laughs> I, look, he, I don't think he got a lyric in his bones. But he can spit it. I don't know. I don't know. I've never I heard him that. write on, something. Stop. 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 Yeah, that stop. stuff. Uh -uh. Oh, man. Uh -uh. So check out what R. Kelly had to say, right? It goes, this ish is crazy. Mother Blanker out here laughing and making comedian jokes and doing all the other ish on the radio and everything else. But they blank could be next. He explained. That's what's so messed up about it. So, man, R. Kelly got a potty mouth right here. I'm trying to clean it up as best as possible. Uh, they so stupid. They don't even realize the moves that's going on. I don't believe none of this ish. You could tell me about Puffy. You can go about anybody. You could tell me uh, on the news, the weather, the sky is blue. I'm not going to believe the blank because I'm in it now. And I know what they did. For those who don't know, R. Kelly is currently in prison for crimes similar to those of Diddy is accused of including sex trafficking. And also, also to add, mm. what do you think about jay Z name being brought up? Now, I saw a picture. It was Jay-Z, Kanye West, and Puffy all standing together. They had a big circle with the X on, on Kanye because of the anti-Semitic thing and all that. They were trying to, the cancer culture was really trying to get him out. They had that, that, that circle with the X on Puffy because obviously he's going through what he's going through and now Jay Z they're saying he's the next one. Next one up. Do you think so though? I, I, I never really heard I mean I've heard whatever, it is what it is, but as far as sex trafficking allegations. Hey. Hey. We don't know what's been going on. But I know one thing. Mm. Beyonce ain't been around. He needs B. He needs Beyonce. I'm sorry, Beyonce is a like, they were a power couple. I don't feel like Beyonce and Jay-Z was in love. I feel like they got married 
to be the power couple mm -hmm. to run power things. Play. It was nothing but a power play. Well, Jay-Z, if anything's winning. <laughs> He's got beautiful Beyonce. Beyonce, what does she have to look forward to? Exploring Girl, her career. She left Destiny Child. Yeah. Destiny Child was nice. But she went solo. Yeah. I feel like Jay-Z. Who, so who do you say will be the biggest loser? Jay-Z or Beyonce from that situation? I mean, find some allegations about Jay-Z. Or some allegations come out that, even if they weren't true, but they're just allegations that can still leave some bad paint on the name, on Beyonce. We And she don't want to be looked at in the bad bad light. No. Yeah, bad publicity? No. Uh, uh, Jay-Z would be the loser in that case because obviously he would lose everything. He'd go to jail. But Beyonce, I don't think, you know, she might get a little uh, support from her, her her fans and she might get a little backlash like you know how did you not know this you've been you're his wife and that you but, think the beehive not no, gonna be on her side no but I, I think they will more than likely be what? more on b side jay-z if anything I, I really don't see it though i don't really what? don't see it like if they want to find something on somebody they can find anything on anybody create a story fabricate some news some, some whatever fake news whatever you want to call it and say you know grandman willie grant you know i know him he was you know he was doing this you know, pay this guy X amount of money. Oh, yeah, I saw him do this. You know, so anybody can generate and fabricate a story. With Diddy, I believe it more than if I were to believe it for Jay. But remember, okay, Solange whooped Jay for B. Why did he, why do you think Beyonce's sister on the elevator was beating the mess <laughs> out of him? Well, what are you going to do? He messed it. Are you going to hit her back? Jay Z didn't cheat. On Beyonce, that's been out. But you can't just single out Jay Z. If you are a celebrity of that stature, and what guy or female, that can happen. You're surrounded by people that want to be around you all the time. They listen to you. They hang on every word. They worship the ground you walk on. And you get some baddie telling me, "Hey, uh, I know we're in a different state. Your wife's over there, and mm -hmm. you're kind of drunk, and I'm kind of mm -hmm. drunk, and what's up? And I won't say nothing." It takes a strong individual, bro. See, Takes a strong individual to be like, sorry, it. I can't do it. My wife's beat, and I'm going to go home. He needs you in the jury. <laughs> he needs you in the jury. Because I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to give it to him. No. Thumbs down but, all the but, time. But not to that extent. I, I've never heard of, of Jay-Z being with underage women. Well, was he? Was Why? Beyonce was to, underage when Beyonce he first met her. Beyonce was underage. Come on. But even a married he married her, had kids with Just her. Just like who married an underage girl? R. Kelly. Come on, brother. Aaliyah. Come on. But that was brother. like really underage. Like he was like fifty and she was like seven or something. Like nah, no, no, <laughs> he was twenty eight. Nah, I'm and just she joking. was. She was a teenager. Yeah, yeah no. she was sixteen. Mm -hmm. mm. Come on, bro. I mean, Jay Z is old. We knew that. Beyonce ain't old. What's the age difference? You think like ten years maybe? While well, he's looking that up, I'm gonna talk about Fifty Cent and he trolls. That's right. He trolls Diddy. He's been trolling him. Uh, I've talked about it. He's doing a, a documentary behind Puffy, right? Um, kind of like they did with R. Kelly, that documentary that led to the investigation that got him eventually arrested. 50 Cent is doing a documentary about Pete Diddy. They can obviously do some damaging effects like that as well. 50 Cent is continuing to troll Diddy on social media aimed on their ongoing investigation into sex trafficking allegations, sharing a picture of Denzel Washington, 50 joked about Diddy recording people at the parties he hosted over the years. And he goes, quote, unquote, when them boys show up at Puffy's crib again, he's going to be like, so let me tell you about them people on those tapes laughing out loud, he wrote. Oh. <laughs> I thought I told you that they won't stop. <laughs> Those tapes. I found the ages. Hold on. I got the ages. You got the ages. All right. So give it on. What was the age? Jay-Z is 54. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Beyonce, 42. That's bad. That's 10 plus years? That's 10 plus. So when Beyonce was 16, 18. Okay. Let's just say 17. 17. Still under age. He's in his early 30s. She, now that I'm thinking about it, she ain't that smart to do a power play at 17. Her, I think her father manages. In the comment section uh, to 50 Cent's Instagram, many join riding Diddy. And what somebody goes, first of all, do not bring even the likeness of Denzel Washington into this filth. 
the man is a beacon of light and shouldn't be even referenced in this foolishness. Uh, one fan remarked, other defended Diddy by claiming 50 is obsessed with the situation. Poor Fifth, it's okay to say your feelings are hurt. This is crazy. Obsession you have with Puffy is getting out of hand. Uh, you know why I think he, not only that, you had mentioned he was supposed to get signed to Bad Boy at first. And I think uh, I, I saw in an interview when they were doing that, that, that meeting, 50 Cent pulled out a gun and put it on the table as they were doing that, 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 that business to see if he was going to sign a Bad Boy. And Puffy's like, no, nah, nah, I'm good. Well, look, Intimidation, I'll... right? Intimidation. So 50 Cent. I think, okay, we talked about that. One of the people, what's his name? Little Rob? Little Rob, the producer. The, the producer, producer. Who, who has a case against P. Diddy. He's telling and, everything. And he had names. He's so 50 everything. Cent's baby mom yes. is on there. And they were saying that she was a sex worker. She, they got her under, on under video. Puff Daddy. Yes, they got her on video walking uh, along the, the pool line with Puffy. Oh. Matter of fact, that's why 50 mad. My kid got to see this. Oh, I'll be mad. And he's fighting for full custody of the shorty. Oh, I'll be mad. Mm. Home San Homeland Security agents raided Diddy's property in Los Angeles and Miami last week, as we know. Uh, and 50 cents is offering top dollar. Check this out. Top dollar for alleged Diddy tapes. He won't get it. Cause, Money talks, man. But if he... Opens the door on Diddy. Mm -hmm. He's gonna open the door on so many other people. Fifty Cent got the power to to destroy you. Yeah, he destroyed rappers' careers yeah. on wax, and he could definitely do it behind the lens. But uh, get, get, Bo, let him get just you know money talks. What? Some a, a video can get leaked out. Who knows? It could it can get leaked out. Fifty Cent. Okay, I'll give you this amount of money. I put put a clip on Instagram, on IG, on YouTube. That's going to go viral. Brah, it's going to instantly destroy this dude, bro. Or he's going to use it for his documentary, like Surviving Puff Daddy or Diddy, whatever you want to call it. Bro, Puffy ain't playing with Diddy. Bottom line. Because Diddy don't... Puffy don't have something to so, say. So this is the picture that he, that he posted saying that this is Puff Daddy. This is from American Gangsters. <laughs> oh, kind of... don't do that to Denzel. <laughs> don't do that to Denzel. <laughs>